Hi, this is Chris Matten from PwC, reporting from the Risk Minds Conference in Amsterdam, December 2015. And I'm joined today by John Halsman from, as a senior foreign affairs correspondent from City AM, right? And you were talking at the conference I was. earlier today, John. So tell me, what, what, what were your key messages? I think the main message is that people lump risk together and then say, gee, I can't deal with it. <laughs> And there's this gigantic fire and I can't put it out. And so they look at China and Russia and ISIS as all part of the same thing. Right. The key is to disaggregate that and see that, that China's a long-term challenge, Russia a medium-term one, and ISIS a relatively short-term one. Mm -hmm. We need to think about them separately, not lump them together. And more importantly, look in the mirror and see what our strengths and weaknesses are, make our strengths better, and then go after the problems. Okay. And, and how, in terms of from, from the chief risk officer's role, how, how do you think the chief risk officer should react to that? Because they're, they're kind of much more down to the detail, right? They're looking at that credit models, well, they are. the provisioning for the next quarter and right. stuff like that. Right? Well, and I, I think throw that out. First of all, I mean, China is a great example. It's a generational issue. And the key point in a generation is do they become part of the status quo power, part of our system, or do they become a revolutionary power and try to challenge our system? That is the $64,000 question. Right. If you can answer that, then you worry about your risk models. Okay. Okay. But okay. first get the strategy right. So that, okay. that's the key. And, 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 and on that with China, where do you see the the, the true uncertainty coming because there's so many different themes going on, yeah. right? I mean, you've got the the tension between the different political cliques within the the, the Politburo. Yeah. Um, you've got the groundswell of, of discontent coming up through the masses, whether it's due to pollution, mm -hmm. right? red alert in Beijing right now, sure. whether it's due to land grabs by local politicians. Mm -hmm. So you could see something coming from that way. Yeah. Um, and there's a whole way. There's a whole range of different things, right? That could, could go on here. So. Yeah, I think internally you have to look, but also externally. I mean, we said this morning the drunken sea captain. One Chinese drunken sea captain firing at one drunken Japanese sea captain. Oh my God, yes. Nobody can back down. Right. Everybody's a nationalist. Everyone has to save face. Yep. And so without anyone meeting to you, get to 1914, a cataclysmic war no one wants in about three moves. That's the danger in Asia. We don't have systems like NATO to mitigate these problems. It's mm -hmm. all bilateral 19th century gunboat diplomacy. And so with these very strong nationalist leaders, Xi Jinping in China, Abe in Japan, and whoever the American president is, that's the, that's the the key point. How can we avoid that while we pull the Chinese in over a generation to make them stakeholders in our system? So is your advice to me not to go back to Singapore? I should just stay here <laughs> in Europe? <or? laughs> no, I'm actually bullish. I mean, events are very worrying and need to mm -hmm. be followed. But I think broadly, if you look at what China did with Lehman afterwards, they did exactly what we wanted mm -hmm. because we owe them a trillion dollars. They right. didn't do it because they loved us. They did it because they're enmeshed in our system. And it was the triumph of, I thought, of Nixon and Kissinger. Mm -hmm. You know, we take this country nobody's paying any attention to. And in a generation, they are so embedded in our system that they come to our defense for the best of reasons, it's in their interest to do so. Right, and That's we just victory. hope that those heads continue to prevail rather right. than the drunken sea captain. Exactly. We, we hope rational right. actors rather than irrational. I can't do anything about that, but I can change the odds mm -hmm. by bringing them more in and by also hedging and, and following, you know, the stick is bigger too. India's now more on side, mm -hmm. Australia's on side, Japan's on side, the ASEAN countries are on side. If you ring them with pro-American countries, again, rational actors can say, we really better not mess around with this because we're outnumbered. Okay. Well, thank you very much indeed. Very interesting. My pleasure. Thank you.